Hey everybody, Johan Magnussen here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're grilling up some amazing picanha steak with a chimichurri rojo on the Memphis Pro Card ITC3. So we got a beautiful three and a half pound picanha here, and we need to prep it, we need to season it, and then we need to let it sit for a little while before we start smoking it. You wanna start by slicing the picanha steaks with the grain into thick steaks. If needed, trim any silver skin or the fat cap so it's close to an inch. Then we need to season the picanha steaks richly on both sides with flaky sea salt. I like to use black lava salt because it has a little bit of a milder salt flavor and it looks really cool on picanha steaks. When seasoned, you wanna let the steak sit for about an hour before we smoke them. So the picanha steaks are trimmed, they're seasoned, so now it's time to start preparing an amazing chimichurri rojo sauce. So here's what we need to do. We're gonna start by roughly chopping a bunch of parsley. You want to have about a cup when you're done. Then we're gonna place this in a food processor. You also wanna chop a tablespoon of oregano and add to the bowl. Then we're gonna add two cloves of garlic, half a cup of red wine vinegar, and half a cup of olive oil. Next, we wanna season it with two teaspoons of smoked paprika and one teaspoon of coriander. You also wanna season it with two teaspoons each of salt and black pepper. Then we're gonna roughly cut four red bell peppers and add to the mixer as well. Then we need to pulse this until you have a nice texture of the chimichurri. When it's ready, pour it in a bowl and set it aside. The chimichurri rojo is done, the picanha steaks are seasoned, it's time to fire up the grill. We're gonna start up the Memphis grill and we're gonna set it to 225 degrees smoke mode and we're using oak pellets for this cook. We wanna insert the upper rack and slide an aluminum pan underneath to keep the grill clean. Then you wanna place the picanha on the rack and now we're gonna smoke the picanha steaks until they reach an inner temperature of 120 degrees. When they have reached this inner temperature, pull them off the smoker and put them in an aluminum pan to rest. You wanna add a couple of slices of unsalted butter on top and then wrap the pan with aluminum foil. Now we're gonna set up the Memphis grill for direct flame grilling by bringing the temperature to 400 degrees. Then we're gonna insert the direct flame insert and set the grill to direct flame medium. Remember, always have the lid open when grilling in direct flame mode. We need to sear the picanha steaks on both sides. If you get a lot of flare-ups, then just remove the steaks from the direct flame, and then when the flame has subdued, put them back again. When they have a nice char and an internal temperature of 135 degrees, it's time to remove them from the grill and let them rest for five minutes. Then we're gonna cut the steaks against the grain and serve with a chimichurri rojo. And that is how I make my grilled picanha with a chimichurri rojo on the Memphis Pro Cart ITC3. Now, if you like this recipe, please subscribe to Memphis Wood Fire Grills YouTube channel or check out their website, www.memphisgrills.com for more recipes like this. And I think the only thing left to do is to try this and see what it tastes like. Look at that fat cap, it just looks amazing. So uh, here we go. Mm. Rich, flavorful, the picanha is so moist, and then you have the tanginess of that rojo sauce. This is really good. I hope you try it at home. Happy grilling.